the third and final hunter this week is the Wiltshire Hunters Cup. And um, we've just got three runners in this one, and only two trainers. Two for Matt Cooper and one for me. And it's a two mile 0 to 100 handicap. Highland Quest at the top for Martin Lidham. Wise Crack Hard Ken for Matt Cooper, who's also got Mohai and Malyoon. So, just the one viewer for this race then. <laughs> and the rain coming down. And called in and away. Mohaya Malyun is going to be the first one to show. It's going to be an early one, two for Matt Cooper as Wise Crack Hard Ken goes into second. Top White Highland Quest over it in third. Let's hope we don't get any fallers. I've never seen a race in the SO world where everything's fallen. I don't know if anybody else has ever done that. If you have have a look and stick it in your forearms. It's certainly never happened in the league, I don't think. If you've had it in your solo game at home, as I get to the water, let us know what happens. This vision of little jockeys chasing horses around. I want to get back on them. Over the third. I'm not sure they're allowed to remount anymore in real racing. They certainly used to years ago. And they get over the next horses in the Grand National. They used to fall two or three times sometimes. That's all been banned there. Well, then my Haya Mal Yoon is the leader, leading by about three lengths to Highland Quest in second. And he's got a similar lead over Wise Crack Hard Kent. I think my Cooper was in a three winner race yesterday, I think. I think he won that one. He definitely got his first winner of the season yesterday. Got a lot of places this year. And he's been quite clever the way he's placed his horses. He's doubled up a lot and uh, racking up the place prize money. Learning his trade, I'm sure he'll be even better next season. He seems to be a bit of a fan of American football as well, which is good. Apart from he doesn't ever seem to mention the Steelers, who are, of course, the greatest American football team ever without a shadow of a doubt. And Mohayat Malyu is clear of Wise Cuckard Ken in second and Highland Quest in third as they get over the ninth. Highland Quest already been just given reminders to keep up to his game as they get over the tenth. Mohaya Malyu, Holland Quest now being driven up the inside as they head towards the business end of the race. And Highland Quest has quickly now gone too clear as they get into this next one. Didn't jump that all that quickly though, and a better jump by Wise Crack Ardken, who's now come through into second as Mohaya Malyu gives way. They've got two and a half furlongs to go, and they've still got a couple of fences to get over. This is the third last, and over it they go, and it's Wise Crack Ardken who's now come through to take over the lead. It's Wise Crack Ardken from Highland Quest who's trying to fight back on the inside. They've left Mohaya Malyu behind as they head down towards the final two fences. Then it's Wise Crack Ardken who lands in the lead, but Highland Quest just a slightly better jump, Highland Quest on the inside Wise Crack Hard Ken over the final fence they go and Highland Quest now starts to pull away to be honest I was expecting better things over the Hunters so not surprised to see him win that but it's Highland Quest who's taking it, Wise Crack Hard Ken second, Mohaya Mal in third so apologies to Matt Cooper for oh, beat him in that race but to be honest I didn't really expect Highland Quest to ever get in a Hunter, I thought he's going to do much better this season, hopefully we'll turn his season around and won't see him in a Hunter again and you can win the ones next week. So Highland Quest wins it for Martin Needham, Wisecrack Ardkin second, and Mohaya Malyun third for Matt Cooper.